Hi ladies, welcome to another class that we're going to be conducting here at the beautiful Country Paper Craft up in Bruce Rock. You're going to be here with me doing a mini art journal class. Okay, so in this class we're going to be making a little mini uh, travel journal. You could use this as a mini art journal. You could use this um, to do make it into a mini scrapbooking album if you want to. Um, it, the, the possibilities are endless really but what you're going to get in this class you're going to get all the materials that you need to make this uh, little mini art journal these little um, hardware things are available to purchase from country papercraft in the shop so what you'll do is you'll be making this journal there'll be a selection of fabrics for you to pick from so if you don't like uh, what I've got here today there will be plenty for you to pick from and we'll be making this uh, signature of mini art journals which I'll just show you uh, mini art um, journal pages so um, the first one will be this where we will be using uh, distress ink um, and a little bit of stamping and some stenciling techniques uh, and the reason I haven't stapled these ones together is then you can actually pull them out and you can have a look at them and you can work on them and then you can just pop them back in so you'll be getting the chipboard pieces the ephemera um, the sprays I'll bring with me so we can use them we'll teach you how to do a little bit of coloring in then we're going to go more towards a little bit of a Tim Holtz inspired couple of pages uh, like this well again we'll talk about some texture paste and do some stenciling uh, then we'll make this little um, fun lot of pages where you can see here it's like a little cutout it's almost like an x-ray so we'll be playing with some alcohol inks and some stamps and I'll show you how to do that uh, and then you'll have this mini slide as well so there's lots of fun techniques to make in this uh, mini art journal signature and then when you're finished what you can do is you just pop it back into the mini art journal that we would have made so I can get back to the middle of this and the beauty of this mini art journal is that by the time I show you how to thread your uh, elastic signatures, there's actually space for another six. So I quite often um, put through different coloured papers in mine and I leave them there so that when I take them out with me, we've got, I've got uh, mini journals to work on. So this is what you're going to be making uh, as one of the classes up here at Bruce Rock. Okay, so for those of you that did the last class with me, you remember what the point of these cards were. Um, these ones we made using watercolour paper and we learned a couple of fun techniques um, to put together a set of 20, uh, 20 cards, even though you get a set of labels that are about 33 labels. So I've gone ahead and I've made some extra ones for myself um, and put my prompt. So basically when you're struggling and you're art journaling, sometimes you get a block. And if you want to go ahead and you just want something to start you off, just an idea to start you off, well, you can go ahead and you can just shuffle this deck of cards that you've made for yourself and pick maybe one card or three cards or five cards. And the cards that you pick would be the things that you would use to start yourself off your page. So, for example, use a monochromatic color theme. And then if I shuffled my cards and I went, OK, and then I need to doodle with black and white pens on top of that and then I need to include stripes. So those are three things in my brain already that I would use to start off my art journal page. So this was series one uh, where we did watercolor prompt cards. So the next one that you're going to do with me is about acrylic um, paints and we get to learn um, a couple of background techniques that you can then incorporate into your art journal when you're art journaling as well um, but we're going to use them to make these gorgeous little cards so um, what happens is you'll get two um, sheets of paper and we'll do two different techniques um, and you can tell this is a very distinctly dilutions type style and this is a little bit of um, with a bit of mixture of everything Dina Wakely etc so you know there's things like like everything that we do and you see will be included in this class so it'll be the paper um, the little prompts that go with it um, you know the, the labels that you're going to use on the back and um, you have the use of my stamps while you're here so that you can go ahead and you can um, make the things that you want the way that you like it obviously the paint um, colors or the theme that you choose is up to you um, but yeah that's the card uh, art journal prompt card class that you will be doing if you choose to do so